Oh, hey guys, what's up? I was hoping to get episode three of the Island House remodel out this week, where me and Richard took a little field trip to meet his cousin. His cousin has this machine that drives pylons into the water so we can build a really nice boathouse and dock and uh, some boat lifts out at the island, probably right about here. But anyway, I ended up burning up all my editing time doing something for the TV show. My little production company, Louisiana Moving Pictures, or LAMP for short, is doing the animation for the pilot for this TV show. And since right now I'm the only employee on the payroll, I pretty much have to do it. Of course, I can't show you what I did. You gotta watch the pilot for that. I mean, I don't wanna ruin it for you. The pilot's gonna air sometime in September on the DIY network. The DIY Network is one of the only channels I'll watch on TV. I don't watch much TV, but they have actually some really good shows. They have Salvage Dogs, Barnwood Builders, but the jewel in their crown, in my opinion, of course, is the Vanilla Ice Project. It's actually a great show. I grew up in the 90s and I was a big Vanilla Ice fan, baby. I think I even did like a choreographed dance to one of his songs like in middle school. And I'm very thankful that that video doesn't exist anymore. So anyway, our show will air on that network, hopefully in September. But of course, once things become official and our show has a name, I'll give you all the updates on that. And I really hope you guys watch the show. So I just wanted to catch folks up about what's going on over here. Some people were asking about what drones I use. I have two drones right now. I've got an Inspire 1 and a Phantom 3 Professional. The Inspire 1 is a more robust craft. It's a uh, bigger props. It's more of a professional drone, but the battery life is a little shorter. It's a lot more expensive, and so I hate flying it over water. So I, I actually use the Phantom 3 Professional, which is a, a very good aircraft. I use that the most. It's kind of my workhorse. The battery life's a little bit better. It's about the third of the price, and so you know, you hate to lose it in the water, but it won't hurt nearly as bad as watching my Inspire sink to the bottom of the river. I've lost a couple drones and it is a sinking feeling. It is, it's awful. My Inspire 1, I tried to update the software and it started giving me all these glitches, so I had to mail it off to DJI and supposedly they fixed it and it came back and it was actually worse than when I sent it. So they wanted to see a video of what, what was going on. So I put together a nice video with, some, with a nice soundtrack and titles and transitions. And uh, anyway, I think they liked that. And I sent it off and they ended up fixing it and now it works. It's also a lot easier to grab a Phantom out of the sky than it is an Inspire. I did a video for my neighbor who owns Wood Marine called Building a Home. And I tried to catch my Inspire and it ended up dropping its little arms and digging it in my hand here. I had to go to my cabinets and teach my friend how to sew my hand up. He actually did a pretty good job. He did seem a little bit nervous. Probably about as nervous as I was last week when I had to circumcise my own kid. I don't know if you've ever had to circumcise your own kid, but I don't recommend it. That is stressful. Now I circumcise people all the time. I think as a urologist, I think it's important. I won't get into it, but there's a lot of pretty good reasons uh, to do that. But with infants, you don't just use a knife and stitches. You have to use this weird little contraption called a gomco. It's like it has this little metal plate and, and a bell and a lever. It kind of reminds me of that game Mousetrap from back in the 80s. The last time I used the Gomco was for Henry four and a half years ago and before that it was in residency. Thank goodness for YouTube, they had a lot of videos and I got to brush up on exactly how to use it. and Ended up going perfectly. So that's the story this week. Next week, I'll put the video together of us looking for a dock in a boathouse. We got an appraisal coming up where we'll talk about the plans for the place, and we're gonna start demolition, and we'll be rolling full force on the island project. All right, so that's it. We'll see you next week.